Welcome. We are now in Christmas tide, and this is the first service after Christmas, our service of lessons and carols. We are so glad that you're here with us today to hear various readers and songs by our choir. We join now prayerfully with hope and in worship. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night, and there was evening, and there was morning, and God saw everything that had been made, and indeed it was very good. Thanks be to God. Us. 
Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. Thanks be to God.
prophet Micah foretells the glory of little Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor bears a child. Then the rest of the ruler's kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God. verses 26 through 28. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his household there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, will be holy. He will be called Son of God. 
And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. In the region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel with a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory be to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace. Then the angels had left them and gone into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So, with haste, they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Thanks be to God.
today we've had a wonderful experience thanks to our musicians, our director of music, Bill Speed, and a variety of readers of Lessons and Carols. We hope that it brings you joy, peace, hope, and love through this time of Christmas time. Blessings and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! We didn't even